Greetings viewers, Car Doctor here, coming to you today with a quick tip for servicing ignition systems on Chevy Uplanders and some Chevy Ventures with the 3.5 or the 3.9 V6 engine requiring rotation of the engine to access the rear bank. Uh, a couple things you may need for this repair is a ratchet strap, a 3.8 flex head ratchet and a 5.8 spark plug socket maybe a short extension, and probably a couple units of blood. Watch this quick video and I'm going to help keep you on the road. Okay, the first step of the process here is to remove these front engine strut mount uh, mounts to the upper core support. There's four mounting bolts and, we're, and two actual mounts on the core support and we're going to uh, remove all four bolts. I have secured a ratchet strap to the uh, engine pickup point here and uh, it's coming along the front of the motor and uh, the, the front of the vehicle and attaching uh, to the lower frame of the vehicle and I put a little 2 by 4 here to keep from damaging any of the uh, components on the bumper cover area so uh, let's bust these off. Okay, now as, as you can see the engine is can rotate forward so I'm just going to ratchet strap it forward and as I do it'll expose the rear bank All right, well, there you go. Uh, now we've got enough clearance to get behind here, access the rear bank, pull those plugs, and I'm gonna inspect the plugs and wires on this thing. And uh, um, if you're gonna do a tune-up on one, I'd recommend replacing the wires while you're back there. And uh, definitely recommend AC Delco original equipment, plugs and wires on this rig. And uh, once you get that squared away, just uh, release your tension and line things back up and uh, reinstall your bolts and you'll be good to go. All right, well, I discovered the reason for the number three misfire. It was a carbon track spark plug and uh, they have replaced these plugs with the uh, AC Delco uh, standard number 14. It's just a standard plug. Uh, this application calls for the iridium, laser iridium plug and uh, that's what I'm gonna put back in it. I'm going to replace all six plugs with the AC Delco Iridiums. I'm going to put some good wires on it and clear the codes and get this thing back on the road. One confession I have to make is I have access to a hoist and this thing was easier to, to access the plugs uh, via uh, down from up below uh, behind the engine in the back uh, with the use of a hoist and the engine in the actual original condition, uh, original position without the mounts disconnected. And if you have the ability to do so uh, and lift it safely and uh, secure it, then uh, it's probably gonna be an easier way. My arms are just a little bit too big to go in from up top, uh, but it can be done. Uh, that's the way the manufacturer suggests that the service is done. Uh, and uh, if you do have a flex handled 3 8 ratchet and a short extension and uh, I like to use a little flex head, 5'8 spark plug socket. You can access these. Be careful putting them back in. Make sure you don't crack the insulation. 
put a little dab of dielectric grease down in your uh, spark plug boot. Uh, that'll allow for easy removal when uh, next time you have to do some service, it won't damage the spark plug boot and lead to problems like this. And always use AC Delco spark plugs, the original equipment on this application, or you're gonna run into similar issues. But uh, that should get you back on the road. And I appreciate you watching. I wish you good luck with your repairs. Thanks for the likes and subscriptions to my channel. It's really cool. All right, have a good one.